I am now creating weekly exclusive content for Patreon, so if you are interested in that, go check out the link down below. And of course, if you want to avoid the random lottery of FIFA points, you want to go straight to the source, buy the players directly, use u7buy.com and use the code TVM at checkout. What is going on guys, TVM here, welcome back to the Road to Glory, the final set of weekend league games. I say that, uh, in tomorrow's episode, there will of course be some French league upgrades. And I probably will include some games that I've left out. There are a couple of games that I lost that I left out. And there are a couple of games that I've won uh, that have maybe got rage quits in like the first 30 minutes or something that I've left out. Just because they don't fill a lot of space. So I've sort of left them out a little bit. Obviously the defeats do. But who wants to watch me lose? Although there are some defeats in here as well. Uh, spoiler alert because might as well tell you where I finished. Silver? What? I'm joking. Gold 2. Uh, finished in Gold 2 despite a lack of time. Next week, for the ultimate team of the season, I need to time manage better. So, I had games left. I could have gone to Gold 1 with the games I had left. Not saying I would have got to Gold 1. I'm just saying I could have got there because I had the games remaining, right? But... Uh, what I decided to do instead was, along the way, actually, my, uh, like, I, I played, I think I probably, I can't remember what the number of defeats were that were legit and that were me giving the wins and then the ones that I feel like I should have won, but the game absolutely ruined me. So, I lost quite a few games this weekend in total. Obviously, still with enough games to be able to, uh, to get gold won. So, obviously... I didn't... What, what is gold one? 20 wins? I finished on 17. So, yeah, I think I had like three or four games remaining, right? So, I mean, I didn't lose double figures this week. Or maybe I did lose just about double figures. But, like I said, uh, I, I gifted two wins uh, because I just was in that situation and position that I could. Then I think maybe two, possibly three at a push were questionable, you know? They were, the game is trying to screw me, I can feel it, it is irritating me, there's nothing I can do about it. There are some, uh, there's a bits of evidence in here of, of me trying to pass the ball, trying to move a player, trying to do a heel-to-heel, -heel. the amount of times yesterday, last night in particular, I tried to do heel-to-heel -heel flicks and my players stood there. I tried to do a ball roll and my player just stood there. And passing as well was really irritating. It was going where I wanted it to go, it just wasn't registering. I was pressing pass and they wouldn't do anything or they were taking so long to actually complete the pass or initiate the pass that it just ended up giving the ball away. Uh, Saar was a big, big culprit of this. And there is a clip, an extended clip, and I've slowed it down. Not that you can really tell that I've tried to press pass, but anyone in their right mind would have passed, right? So, yeah, it goes, goes hand in hand, really. But no, I lost to some some good players who just obliterated me as well. More more of the losses that I got obviously came from people who were just better than me, and I accept that. My team isn't fantastic, and I'm not that great at the game either, right? So I know I'm not going to be picking up win on win on win. The irritating thing for me is on Friday and Saturday, the games that I played, I felt good. I was doing well enough, and 6-3 and three isn't a great record. Uh, but then to, I suppose to go 11 and... What did I go? 11 and... Four, maybe again that's not a particular if I did 11 and 4 I'd be disappointed with I think like I, I I think I need to um rein in my expectation of where I am in this game I haven't played foot champs properly in months I've, I've been in foot champs for maybe I don't know two or three of the last in in the last two months two or three times but I've I've stopped because I, I got annoyed at the game didn't have enough time etc and I, I stopped at like silver two or silver three or something I just didn't really do an awful lot because it wasn't a proper run this was my first proper run I, I mean I'm happy enough that we've got to gold two I think gold three would have been the standard had I not hit that I would have been distraught and I probably would never have played the game again but um yeah, I, th I think because I haven't played in so long, like proper competitively, Rivals is, is not, I mean, how is that not a penalty? Rivals is not the same as Foot Champs, it just isn't. So anyway, um, John, uh, who has been subscribed for two years, thank you very much for your support, my friend. He says, you should definitely go for Coutinho end game cam dribbling off the charts, positioning is perfect, five star skill moves, price really cheap. And if you compare him to the other endgame attacking midfielders, plus he's got that Brazilian uh, link and the Bundesliga links. Uh, yeah, exactly. So 
I am tempted to go for Coutinho. He links to my Kimmich, who I think... I mean, obviously, there is a better Kimmich on the market, but I think my Kimmich is good enough to be in the team and stay in the team till near enough the end of the game. And if we decide that we want to upgrade him, the, the option is there on the market, so that's nice. So, yeah, Coutinho is definitely an option. That obviously gives us a soft link into Lucas player moments as well. Not that I'm saying I want to or going to do that, but the option is there as well, right? So, yeah, there's that. Um... Trial Z's, who has been subscribed, I love this feature, uh, been subscribed for a year. Uh, obviously, he might have been close to two years, but it just says one year, right? Uh, there we go with it. I mean, my possession this weekend has been phenomenal. Even the games I'm losing, I am hitting mid 50s, low 60s percent possession. My pass accuracy is more than, um, more often than not, above 90 percent as well, which is fantastic. Uh, obviously, if it's below 90 percent, either my opponent is very good and rushes me an awful lot and I'm struggling. I do like it when my opponent rushes me because it gives me more space because I am I'm calm enough to be able to sort of carve open gaps and things. But um, if they're good and they rush, that's that's obviously a problem. Uh, this guy was better than me, full stop. I think I don't think it was one of those games that uh, I, I I think the game screwed me on. The I, I managed to score there and that was dodgy. Uh, and then he goes up the other end and he gets himself a goal. I can't remember what situation this was though. Oh, this is it. Yeah, no, actually no. I'm lying. The game screwed me. Look at the state of this, right? We get the ball here. Goes through his legs. Still got possession. Uh, do you want to... Nope. Fine. Okay. And then he goes on and shushes me as if he's just battered me. I, I remember now. That was one of the games that was what, what one of those I should have won that game. And I, I feel like I was better than that guy. But everything I did fell back to him. Every time I tried to... I was, try, I was literally spamming buttons to, to kick it somewhere for Saar and he wouldn't do anything and it was just one of those really irritating games so I was just I was confused whether he was actually better than me or whether it was just one of those things anyway trial Z's says very interesting to hear about people not even hitting goal three while I was fighting for elite three uh two weeks back the last opponent I beat said he needed the win for goal three so this is actually uh, sounding true. I should just be happy hitting goal two, goal three consistently because it really could be worse. Um, yeah, the, the most people who actually enter weekend league don't hit gold apparently. Who who would have thought it, right? But no, if you if you go and just go and watch, like just type in FIFA 20 coaching and just watch any of uh, any YouTuber who uploads coaching sessions. They literally sit down for an hour via Discord or whatever it may be, and they have the full game. Uh, in front of them from the person that they're coaching and they talk them through it and obviously they've got like a, an epic pen that they go over the top of the screen with and they say look you should have done this should have done that and most of the players or the people who uh, want his services and who hire him don't hit gold because they want to get better to be able to hit gold consistently and there's a lot of them and you may be watching this and thinking to yourself that's me and I wouldn't honestly I, I, it's a game right I wouldn't be ashamed that you can't hit gold it's it doesn't make any blind bit of difference uh but yeah I, I just I just not I didn't just assume that everyone would be able to do it but I assumed everyone would be at that sort of level where they could maybe think right well I think I can compete to get gold three obviously some people cruise there other people it's a little bit more of a slog and then like me I, I'm not one of those people who will cruise there necessarily but I am sort of I don't ever look at how many games I have remaining. I'm always thinking, oh, I've just got to go play another game. I will get there. I just It just depends on how many defeats I take along the way. I never really think, oh, I've only got eight games left and I need three wins. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to do it. I never think about that. I just think, oh, I will get there just in time, right? Um, Monster Energy, six-month sub. Uh, I, like, I like you at the moment, okay? Oh, no, I like you. I'm kind of, right, like you. Not I like you. I thought you said you... No, for, never mind, let's move on. That was awkward. Um, like you at the moment, I'm kind of stuck in limbo with my team, sort of waiting to potentially pack a game changer, Mbappe, Neymar, etc., uh, which I would then build a team around. I'm waiting until the end of team of the season to finalise my best lineup. The, the, the issue with waiting for the end of team of the season is... At the end of team of the season, what is there left to play for besides maybe a little bit of enjoyment? That wasn't the win that hit goal two, by the way. That was, I think, to hit silver one. But I was very proud of that performance. That is going to be the game uh, that we end the pre-recorded uh, gameplay section on. I do have something to submit, though, when we go live.
and we're going to do that right now. Uh, but I've got some packs to open. They're not good packs. A lot of them are silver packs because I've literally just completed a league. Uh, well, I'm about to complete a league. I do have a 45k pack, but the league I'm going to complete is the Chinese league. I'm not doing it specifically because I want the player that comes out of this. I'm doing it because I had most of what I need in the club. Please don't kick me. There we go. Um, that should be it done. If Yeah, there we go. Maths is getting better uh so there we go csl done it means we get a 90 rated team of the season those are the cards i bought apparently already had look at this look at this for a, a snipe 200 coins right let's have a look to see how much he is on the market oh baby that is fantastic i don't think i'll sell him for that i mean i'll try and get like five and a half i bought him for 200 coins that's mad someone actually listed that guy for 200 coins i'll put them in the club because they'll come in handy for the next time we go round. We get to pick up a team of the season card. It is going to be Dembele. I've used him. I've reviewed him. He's not a bad card at all. He's actually very good. Stamina is obviously the issue there. It didn't really phase me too much, actually, when I was playing. I, I kind of thought it would impact the card more, but it doesn't. Uh, maybe it was just because he was on stay back while attacking. I'm not sure, but I will take Dembele. 90 rated team of the season to be able to go into an SBC or to be able to go into, well, no, an SBC, but either one that guarantees or requires, sorry, a, a uh, team of the season or one that doesn't, and we just need rating, essentially. But, I mean, if we really wanted to, for argument's sake, we could now look to, to do Coutinho, because I don't think Coutinho is too expensive, actually. Do, do you know what would have been easier? That. That would have been easier. So, yeah, four segments... Uh, 85, 86, 87, 86. Um, okay, maybe maybe a little bit more expensive than I thought it would be. But I've got most... What did I just do that for? Wanted to look at the card. So, yeah, thought process is that that card is incredible, right? And it is endgame. And I, I'm sort of half looking at next FIFA with this as well. And... I'm going to try and implement it now, although obviously next FIFA for the next Road to Glory, it's going to be something that I, I do actively go and do. Content aside, I'm going to try and do this because I think it will benefit me in the back end, right? So I'm not going to, for argument's sake, go like let's just have a look at what's available now. If this was the start of FIFA 21, and we had player of the month, French League player of the month, Cyprian, who is 85, 86 rated. And we've got a French League player of the month, Dimitri Payet, who's 87 rated or something. And they're only one and two segments like these players are. Normally, what I would do is pff, we need to get that done because that's cheap, you know. Oh, an, an 88 player of the month, Cyprian, one segment. It's only an 84 rated team for an 88 rated card need to get it done there's absolutely no consideration there as to whether he fits the team or not it's just a cheap sbc i need to get it done that's the thought process that goes that, that sort of i go through and then we do it and then we're left with a club that looks like this and i mentioned i think i mentioned this in the last uh video but like i've got uh, I mean, I've got Kostic, who I have been using, to be fair. Robertson hasn't really been used that much. We packed him, so that doesn't count. Uh, Saul is an SBC, but again, I've been using him, so that doesn't count. Axel Witzel, right? Now, at the time, I completed that because I had space for him in the team. He's played 19 games. I don't know how, how much he was, 84, 85 rated team. Maybe it was 85, 86. I can't remember. Either way, it's a great card, and maybe not great for an example, I think Wayne Rooney is a much better example. So let's talk about Wayne Rooney. That card, right, has seen 25 games of FIFA. It was an SBC. He had three-star skill moves, high, high work rates. It's not a bad card, don't get me wrong. And that is actually really solid in terms of sort of box-to-box-ish. His stamina isn't there. He's not going to feel that mobile, blah, blah, blah. Why did I complete that? Because it was cheap and it was an aging player that could go into some sort of, you know, that, that, that sort of, Gerard Lippmann and not that I know he's not Liverpool but you know what I mean like that sort of older squad of, of like older generation of players that are, are either not in the game and uh, not in like re the real world football anymore so like Lippmann and Gerard or something or players who are at the end of their career so that's why I did it. it was more of sort of nostalgia than anything else didn't need that card at all that was a complete waste of resources why did I do it? I still don't know, right? And then if you go through, you can find card after card 
that maybe maybe not as much because I've got rid of them since. But this this page here, right? So Florian Tovan, why is he there? Absolutely no reason for him being done. Fifty four games, sure, but only been used in French objectives. So he he was a waste of money in my opinion. Uh, all these are, I mean, some of these are like objective, like those two are objective cards. He's an objective card. He's an objective card. We packed him untradeable. Objective card. We do have a lot of objective cards here. Packed a couple of the other ones. Kubo is an interesting one, right? Because I have had a fair use of Kubo. But at the same time, I just think, was there any point doing it? I mean, obviously, I've nearly played 100 games, but... The, the reason I did it was because at the time he felt really quick and I was like, right, that'll do. Since the, the two or three patches we've had since that card was released, he doesn't feel anywhere near as good anymore. So they EA kind of ruined that for me. But again, I probably could have gotten by without doing that. There was no need for me to do that. Those two are a little bit different. They're fun. Those two are objectives. They would pack those untradeable. Jamie Vardy was unbelievably cheap and I have had my fill of him. He's a very good card off the bench or was at least. So, I mean, I'm going through these and I've only really mentioned maybe one player that, I, that I've that i done that I've... Like, Pope. Pope was a complete waste of money. Reason I did that, five-star skills. He's played 43 games, but I kind of just chose him over De Gea where I could have used De Gea, right? So, why have I done that? Five-star skills. If that if he had four-star skills, I wouldn't have done it. The only reason I did that was for five-star skills. He wasn't expensive, but again, it's just, it's just cards I'm using for no reason. So... What I need to do next FIFA is rein it in and, and not do these stupid things. Like, I did that. Why am I doing that? When am I going to... He's had two games. When am I going to use him? He would have needed to get six upgrades for me to have used that card. Because now each upgrade he gets is obviously going to go up like 87, 88, 89. He's going to need six to get to 92. And even then, he still probably won't be that usable because his balance and his agility, his dribbling just not high enough. It's just not that great a card. It's, it's all right. In front of goal, he's, he's pretty good. But everything else about it, I'm never going to use it. Why? Did, what a waste. Why did I do it? Because I didn't want to miss out. I wanted content for the video. Yeah, let's just leave it alone because I've, I think I've made my point. Essentially, next FIFA and now going forward, what I want to do is only use coins to buy players and only do the SBCs where players that go immediately into the team. So Witzel kind of is okay because at the time he went into the team. I've changed it since because I've packed a couple of things that sort of sent me the other direction. But Wayne Rooney never fit the team. Abraham never fit the team. So I'm not doing those next year. Not doing those from going forward either. If they released, you know, whatever was Dimitri Payet. I was tempted, but he doesn't really go into the team. He can fit the team, but I'm going to stay away from it for that reason. I'd rather have the coins and just a club full of players to do an SBC that I actually want to do. So next year, less SBC completion. You know, packs and things like that will still flow through league SBC method and all that, if that's still a thing. But I'm not going to do players for the sake of content, essentially, right? I say that now. I know it'll change going forward. But last year, I kind of thought it. This year, I've not done as many as I did last year. Hopefully next year I've learnt my lesson and we'll only do the ones that we like really, really want to do. And I'm not sure going to do it for the sake of it, right? So anyway, Di Maria sold 365. I decided to use him in Weekend League. He played a few games uh, starting, not too many. Mainly came off the bench. Uh, unreal, absolutely unreal player. Obviously not the best player in the game, but still a very good card. The, the one thing that did annoy me about him, and it's the same thing that annoys me with Kostic, is the weak foot. With the way that I play, giving him the ball, sending him down that right-hand side, and then having to try and cut the ball back across goal, he ends up having to do it with the right foot. Now, you could say, we'll play him on the left, and he'll cut it back with the, with the stronger foot. Yeah, that makes sense, but then I can't cut it on the stronger foot to take a shot, which I like to do. So, unfortunately, unless you want to use him as a striker, or you don't do a lot of cutbacks... Di Maria is kind of... He's, he's insane. He really is good, but that weak foot just annoyed me a lot. Uh, Kamara was very good. I have absolutely no complaints about him at all. I'm guessing it's not going to show his record. So, yeah, Kamara played all of the weekend league. He didn't miss one single game. He was very, very good. He just kept getting better and better every time I used him. So the review on the channel, add 10% to my overall at the end, and there's Kamara for you. I didn't get as much for Di Maria as I wanted because I kept him too long, and I waited till this morning to sell him rather than selling him 
sort of Sunday evening, I've sold him sort of, I say this morning, it was basically two o'clock on Monday. And obviously people are now selling off their teams in anticipation for the French League upgrades that are going to drop in a few hours. So that's why I've not made as much money from him. But I'm okay to take the little bit of a hit knowing that on Thursday we'll get a set of of reds and uh, we should get some packs obviously for it as well. Uh, we, we're obviously quite high in rivals now in terms of like, what rank we're going to hit because of the amount of, uh, of of games that we've played. And, of course, I still have to play more this week as well. So, yeah, there's that. This week, I kind of want to focus on Adrissa Gay. And I want to try and get him done because he may very well go into the team going forward. I don't really know. I'm kind of hoping for, like, Union Berlin, Padamon style players here. I say style because I'm not, like, strict in those two clubs. But those sort of players that are very expensive for SBCs would be nice. Let's do the small rare players pack. And I know a lot of you won't care about these. You can actually pack icons in them. So there is a very, very slim chance. But uh, yeah, like I said, looking for like that, for example, that's a banging card right there. Not as much as I thought, 3K, but still uh, 3K that I now no longer have to spend on that card when I go to complete Sheffield United. And our final silver pack before we get into some of the slightly tastier packs. That comment, by the way, from Monster Energy. I didn't actually finish it, did I? Uh, what he was saying was... Oh, there we go. That's not bad at all. That's 4K in the bag right there. Oh, and another Dusseldorf player who is not as expensive. Luckily, he was the duplicate, though. So we got the expensive one and can sell him on for 1,000. Those other cards might be worth a little bit. But yeah, basically what he was saying is he's in limbo right now because he doesn't know what to do with his team. And he's waiting for that big pull. He's obviously going to wait for all the team the season's out before he makes his decision. And now that the French League is obviously the last league, I mean, we do have Latin America, MLS, that sort of thing, but mainly you use those as super subs, not as starting 11, unless you're a fan of that specific league. So, yeah, there's that. But, I, yeah, I, I get what you mean. The only problem is, of course, after Team of the Season, we are heavily reliant on EA releasing something that we all have an interest in. So what could happen is that they release nothing. They could just say, look, Team of the Week's back. Well done. There you go. That's your content. Or they could release a promo where the cards are just not as good as Team of the Season cards. So, yeah, problems. Don't know if there's going to be anything left to play for beyond Ultimate Team of the Season. So that's issue number one. Um, but, yeah, I, I, I kind of just have the... I have an outline of an idea of what I want. Our Team of the Season is, uh, is one of those cards. I just wanted to wait for upgrades not for the team to come out i wanted to, to to do a lot of french league upgrades and the chances of you packing a team of the season through those upgrades a lot higher than any other team of the season because there aren't that many rare gold in the league so i'm kind of hoping that today's upgrades you're probably watching this and you already know but i'm hoping today's upgrade packs are i mean if they're the four rare that we had for the premier league that's insane but i'm kind of hoping for like a player pick or 282 plus or something like that because the chances of you getting a team this season are going to be insane. Uh, obviously, let me know what uh, what you end up on uh, with uh, with with your team though. Be interesting to see what you end up going with. Uh, use Lippmann and at Cam instead of Sabitzer to get Cam, and also he's probably better for that position. I mean, to a degree, you are probably right. That's a that's a nice card to get though because he'll do well for tonight. I mean, at the moment, people are spending 2k on these cards in anticipation of what the upgrade will be. I have a lot in the club. Not as many as maybe I'd like, but I do have a lot in the club. We may end up selling them and then waiting for Thursday's 25k upgrades. Probably not because I am addicted to uh, to packs. But yeah, we'll see what happens there. But um, the the whole Yari Littmanen thing, I like him in real life. And to be fair, he's not that bad in game at all. But the way that I want to play, I just want ultimate agility, ultimate movement. Because even yesterday, with the likes of Kubo, with uh, Kostic and even Di Maria at times, they just weren't quick enough because of the gameplay and how many people were playing. Obviously, it was bogged down. So if I've got a player who's not that agile in that gameplay, he's going to feel like a brick. So at least if I've got super agile players, when they get slowed down, at least they still have a little bit of zip to them. I'm not only going for 99, 99, 99 agility balance pace, but as close to that as I can get, it would be nice. Awa, though, his season objective card is nice. I like it a lot. So I really, really want to get his team of the season. Him and uh, maybe Adrissa Gay in the middle. Uh, Awa, sorry, as a cam is what I'm looking to eventually go for. 
Adrissa Gay then as one of the CDMs. And then we'll look at it more in tomorrow's episode. Once we've done a few upgrades, once we get a general idea of how good they are, etc. But uh, that's going to do it for today's very long-winded episode. What I didn't mention throughout this is even though we are at the back end of team of the season now, and yeah, we've got the rest of this week to go for French League, next week for the ultimate. After that, who knows? But I do want to continue doing the road to glory, and I want to try and bring back the daily episodes. Like Sometimes we've just gone like four or five days without an episode because there's not really been an awful lot on. I want to try and get better at the game. I want to play more games. I, I'm getting to that point now where I actually just want to play FIFA. I don't know why, because it annoys the hell out of me. But Rivals is nowhere near as bad as Champ, so I kind of just want to play and play and try and get better and analyse my gameplay and stuff. We might try and do some draft and see if I my new gameplay style is, is good in draft or not. We'll have to wait and see. But um, yeah, going to try and do some daily episodes uh, for as long as I can. Are oh, we going to get a board here? Can we get our please? Uh, we're going to get a man of the match. It, please be right. Be German. Banging. Be striker. Banging. Be Leipzig. <laughs> get in. I'm just watching this back in editing and I got more excited about this than I did Di Maria. I, I don't know why I did right because I thought he would be expensive for some reason. I don't know why, uh, but he's not. And, and on top of that, he's he's decent, don't get me wrong, but he's not anywhere near as good as his team of the season or a lot of other team of the season cards. He does link into the team slightly, but I got far too excited about this. I've collected myself. I went a bit mad, right? I don't know why I got that excited because I knew full well he wasn't going to be anywhere near as good as his team of the season. I've got the 88 and that card is very good. The 89... Still good, right? Let's have a look at it. It's not a bad card, but for this stage of the game compared to the team, the season cards he'd be playing against, it's not going to be good enough, right? He's got three star skills. That's a bit of a shame. It's not the end of the world, though, because he does have a better weak foot, so that's fine. He doesn't have strength. He doesn't have composure. His balance is a little bit on the low side. His agility is not fantastic, and his vision is quite poor. And his long shot's not that good either if you just want to add something else in there. So in comparison to what his team of the season is going to be or is, and in comparison to other cards that we already have, not great. The, I suppose, very slim silver lining in this is that he does link with Kamada. So, I mean, the, I'm going to keep that. There, there is a very slim chance that... Um, we might get him into the team. I don't think I want to, though. So we'll have to wait and see there. I, I went a little bit mad when I packed that. I think I got more excited about packing that than I did about packing Di Maria, knowing that he was untradeable and knowing that he's only 89 rated and nowhere near as good as his team of the season card. It's because I packed Havertz yesterday and I really wanted that uh, that Werner. I don't know why I wanted him, but I, I really did. Um... If they were the two team of the season cards, I'd be laughing right now. But unfortunately, they're not, right? So, I mean, he he, he links to Sabitza as well. But I, I don't know. I mean, I was going to say maybe we keep him and have a bit of a fun German league squad. I think we keep him for the time being. But if anything else, that's just some really nice fodder for potentially Coutinho, right? I need to uh, I need to research some prices a little bit more though because I was uh, under the impression for some reason that was a that was going to be a more expensive card. I kind of thought he'd be around 150k for some reason, but yeah, that's mad that he's about 50 60k. Not that I can sell him anyway, but you know what I mean. So that brings us to the end of today's video. Uh, tomorrow, like I said, we'll we'll sort of have we'll do some upgrade packs. We'll have some upgrade packs definitely. Uh, the other thing what we'll do is start to look at what players can go where and what we can do with the team. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't want Kostic next weekend league. I don't really want Sabitzer next weekend league. I want this to be blue. Uh, Saar, as good as he is, kind of did actually annoy me a little bit. So we'll have to maybe toy with, with swapping him out. I, Ramos isn't good enough. We'll have to look at... The whole thing needs an overhaul. I, the, the only like two or three players I want to keep, really, is Kamada, which is going to be almost impossible. This guy's record is, is incredible. I mean... He just scores goals. He is a he's a machine. And he's up front by himself. But I want him in the team. Uh, Regulon, I actually wouldn't mind keeping. Ter Stegen, I wouldn't mind keeping. And obviously, well, like I said, I want to upgrade him to blue. But I just don't know what to do with it, really. But we'll have to wait and see what happens with upgrades and what tomorrow brings, essentially. If you have enjoyed that episode of The Road to Glory, hit that like button. 
Subscribe to the channel for new, and until the next time, goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.